Welcome, welcome, welcome back, family. Welcome to the Reiki Healing Hope Community, a place to heal. Relax, be yourself, and be surrounded by those who want to see you blossom and or bloom. Blossom and or bloom. I am Jet. Also by Jessica. And I'm a Reiki Master teacher and intuitive. And today, we have a special healing session. We're going to do some combing of your energy. So if you're new to the community, welcome babies. This is your nightly, daily, or whenever you come here, self-care routine. So we work on different things during the week. You enjoy the weekend. And hopefully it makes you feel better during the time. I give advice, or you can fall asleep, I'll channel messages, or you can share your journeys. So if you're new to the community babies, you are now one of my babies. So you get one kiss on the foreknoggin. And for my returning babies, welcome back, Mama Lotion. Multiple kisses. Okay, let's get started. So we start our session off with a prayer. It's not a religious prayer. It's just a prayer to root us in our individual healing experience and bring us together as a community and as a collective. And because consent matters, do I have your permission to say a prayer? Okay, may I touch you? Okay. Dear universe and all of the highest vibrational good only, Please connect us to our highest self and validate information for our highest vibrational good only. Please allow us to release what we need to let go and embrace what allows us to grow. Let our journey encompass the lineages, traditions, religions, and spiritual paths that bring light out through us to share with others. I say all of this in the name of I am. Ashe. Ashe, Ashe. Okay. So. just do a little this a little that and relax so if you want to bring love into your life or I like to call it peace of mind you know because I feel like love is just one area but we want love and romance we want abundance and monies we want abundance and opportunity not necessarily monies ain't nothing wrong with having monies but abundance and opportunity that regardless if if money comes or goes we have those opportunities that we think that money is supposed to buy or we have access to the things that we need so with that being said just all the wisdom all those downloads you've been having just working it through we're releasing the excess info and we're just connecting with the stuff that's important for us again releasing the excess info and connecting only with those things that work for us baby when we're working with the universe all the messages <laughs> that we get on top on top racks on racks on racks of messages okay but we need to narrow down and just focus on what we as individuals need and so let's release any old stuff and just connect in here what do you need to know? What do you need at this time? What would make your soul smile, your soul happy? Who would that be around? Where would that be? What are you doing? And trust what you need in the moment. And make some decisions. 
and those decisions start to look like this is what my heart wants me to do right now so I'm going to do it I understand that rationally maybe I should do this or that but this is where my soul is calling me so I'm going to answer that call I'm going to show up and I don't need to have all the answers but I'll just figure it out a little bit here and a little bit there so just sit in this moment and give yourself permission to be okay with figuring it out as it comes a little bit here a little bit there maybe a lot of bit here a lot of bit there just take your time Take your time. Your path is yours. You're not too late. There's plenty more opportunities to go and grow in that direction. So keep at it. Keep at it. Don't worry. The universe has your back. And you will always find a creative solution to any problems or setbacks. Just believe in yourself. And be patient. Sometimes we miss our blessing only because we didn't have the patience to wait for it. All that hard work lost because we let go. We didn't believe too soon. No, let's connect. Let's believe that if we have something in our heart, it's important. Let's let go of those old things that maybe our dreams were too small. And let's embrace that growth. You know, sometimes you're going to be working on something for years. That will be your main focus. Other times, you'll be working on that thing for years and it's not your main focus. It's just going on in the background. And also, when you step into a new chapter, something else you want to be working on, sometimes it feels like you're cheating a little bit on those old things. But that's not what it's about. Let those old things incubate, grow, hibernate. And expand yourself in new ways. Allow them to be presented in your life. And don't judge it. Just go with it. There's never a time in life where there aren't opportunities. But just know the opportunities may not be something you have thought about before. So don't get in your own way by only trying to go after opportunities that you know. Try immersing yourself in a new field, a new experience, a new approach, a new understanding. What does that feel like? How does that feel? And bond with the journey. And again, during this time, it's not about the outside. The outside will come. It's about the inside finding balance here. Working through that. Don't get so caught up in the outside that you miss the journey of the inside. Don't get so caught up in the outside that you miss the journey of the inside. Because that's the secret. If you want that outside to shift, the inside has to shift first. You have to believe it. And then you see it. So this is just getting rid of any excess stuff, other people's stuff, so that you can just focus on your own, your gifts, your callings, where you're leaning towards, what you hope to get, what you hope to gain. Just.
just go with that just 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 go with that just 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 go with that just 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 go with that how does that feel how does that feel how does that feel? And where are you going? Who are you? Who are you becoming? It's okay. You can take your time. And just allow it to unfold. Just work with yourself. Work with yourself here. Work with yourself here. And just relax into this. Just breathing into this. Okay. Shifting through your energy. Noticing yourself. Resting in this energy, this energy synergy, transmutation, growth and going and growing, all of this. Just connect. Just. your own kind of flow. Be in the moment with yourself. Be patient with yourself. Make peace with the past and attract that fullness and that love in your life. Romantic, platonic, familiar, all of those things as well as self-love how does self-love show up in your life the more that we work on acknowledging our self-love the more that we distance ourselves from relationships that don't serve us and sometimes it may feel like, oh, I can't separate myself from these situations, circumstances, or people. But I think it's more of a thing of having patience. Just keep on working on you. You can't control anyone outside of you. You shouldn't want to. But there will always be a transitional period as you're leaning forward into your growth. Just know you can take actions if you need to. And be patient. It is going to work out. It will work. But you just must be very patient with yourself. And keep going. And keep growing. Having that growth mindset. And balancing here. Well, baby. You did a fantastic job. I really enjoyed this session that we had together. And I hope you enjoyed it too. So sweet peas, if no one has said it, let me go ahead and say it. I love you. But who cares that I love you? Just love yourself a little bit more 
each and every day. And until next time, bye.